siento como bendecido o, o soñando, me siento ah, nervioso, así que ah, no, de momento no estaba acostumbrado a esto y estar aquí así, y digo, bueno, ¿qué pasó? <risa> no me lo creo, no me lo creo. No nos habíamos separado desde el día en que nacimos. Nunca te darías cuenta, pero soy tres minutos mayor que él. Yo siempre podía leer su mente, acabar su frase. Yo pensaba que él no podría vivir sin mí. Es un film sobre tres teenagers who go through a journey together and find each other and um, it's about their emotions and how they change one another through their relationships. Comencé a notar cambios pequeños cuando comenzó a trabajar en la cocina del hotel tres meses atrás. Una muchacha en mi aula baila en el cabaret en las tardes. Ella dice que antes de ver a un turista lo puedes oler que ellos usan un tipo de jabón que aquí no hay. Este viento tan fuerte que me une a ti Quiero que me quite la vida, ya no logro sentir Ay, Al principio pensé que Helio solo quería un poco de independencia de mí. Se había vuelto distante con más secretos. Nunca pensé que nada nos separaría hasta que apareció Raúl. I was living out in Havana and while we were making the movie really just and before that we were kind of just casting and location scouting, getting everything ready, organizing everything and it took a long time because um, we started from scratch basically, so we didn't work with any particular institutions ex exactly. We had support from institutions, but we kind of found all of our people and all of our cast ourselves, so we went out and we didn't, go, we didn't work with actors, we worked with real people. We've been working on this project for a long time now, for almost six years, since the idea came about. So it's been a really long process, I'm really, really happy to be here. So let's get this panel started. Thank you. I'm just more interested in how you're going to handle this panel. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I'm, I'm working hard here, I can tell you that. Tell you, we're going to get some good positive comments on the deadline uh, message boards. I can tell yeah, you that. Yeah, oh, it's going to be brutal. A very positive place, uh, <laughs> those message boards. Sometimes when I want to kill myself, I'll read what they're saying on there and uh... Well, we've, we, we always said nice things about bridesmaids, did we not? I know, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, what did movies like Deer Hunter mean to you as you were, as you were well, developing? You shouldn't ask him that question. You might <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to talk about Deer Hunter for about a half an hour right now. <laughs> uh, so can I. This is my interpretation of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave. <laughs> when Deer Hunter came out, I was 10 years old. Uh, we had the VHS of it, I watched it, and thus I became this. <laughs> now, um, you know, Bob, and you, you starred in the remake of Cape Fear, which, which made that clip, and, and that was a terrifying film that actually Steven Spielberg was going to do before he traded uh, with Scorsese, and Scorsese gave him Schindler's List, and, uh, you know, and then Marty did Cape Fear. And Is that I, how it works? I guess. <laughs> There's a barter system I don't know there about? Is. There is. I never get that call. You want to switch 40-year-old virgin for gangs of New York? Uh, I didn't know we could do that. Uh, Billy Crystal had the idea. Billy had a script and, and he thought, you know, of me to play, be funny if I did that. And, I, and, I, and somebody told me about it. And they didn't know. I said, no, it sounds interesting. Let me see. Let me, uh, let's get together and talk about it. And then we had a reading of it and so on and, and figured out and then we're looking for a director and uh, um, then came up finally with uh, Harold Ramis uh, did it. Um, but I, uh, Billy thought that 
always felt that it, I would be funny in it. I had never had a, had a, a problem with uh, thinking that I could be funny and I don't know, you know, I, I had fun doing the movie. That's, uh, especially that kind of character because it's, he's bigger than life anyway. It's, uh, um, some of those guys, so it's easy to extend it a little bit. And so that was it. And he would have been good as a director for that too. For, yeah. If he was around them, I think he was too young. He was <laughs> Happy 100th to Universal. Seattle and I grew up there and um, but I live I lived in New York for about 10 years and I consider myself a part partial New Yorker so to premiere my film at Tribeca it's my first time at this festival so I'm really happy to be here thank you very okay much. bye I miss you I miss my friend oh this is this is that moment isn't it this is this is your intervention Whatever you think is helping you, I have a responsibility as your friend to tell you that it's not. Just tell me what to do. You know that nice red bicycle that you have? Yes. You're going to dust off old red, and you're going to get on a ferry. I'm sending you to my dad's place. There's no TV, there's no internet, there's nothing. It's just you. Do they have forks? It's just you and we have a couple of forks, yeah. I might need to stab myself in the face. <laughs> the wrong house and I, I hey you're Hannah oh my god I'm so sorry I'm Iris's friend Jack you're on an island it's three in the morning and you're drinking by yourself what's going on I just walked out on a seven-year relationship whoa hence the tequila I gotta say not so terrible to have a drinking buddy That's going down oh, getting weird <laughs> <laughs> it feels busy, <laughs> but it's nice because they're very different, you know, one's a big, big comedy and this one's really intimate and it was made for no money and we shot it in 12 days and so it's lovely that both are recognized. Jack! What are you doing here? What? Did you meet my sister? I've been wanting you to meet I did, her. we met last night. I know, it's crazy. How, what, why are you, what, how did the, what are you doing here? You don't think she'd be upset if you told her we had sex? Why? Because she's your sister. I'm yeah. her best friend, and it's weird. Do you have a thing for my sister? I, I do not have a thing for your sister. Do you like Jack? I don't know. He seems like a nice guy. I think I'm in love with him. <laughs> You're right. It's um, better if she doesn't know. That's the first time I've seen you look really happy in a long time. I just feel like I should tell him. What's the matter? Why are you being so quiet? I have to tell you something. Why? Why did it have to be him? I really think your face is going to annoy me right now. My face always annoys you. All the way back home.